objectives. Securing A. <sighs> what is going on, you sexy interns? This is TJ Robosh as I am, here to bring you guys another exciting episode of Memorable Girls. Here I'm sipping on a can of Coke and I'm about to tell you guys an exciting story. So hopefully you guys sit tight and sit through this entire commentary. Before I start off with this first part of my high school season, which is by far the most interesting season, at least in my opinion so far, well, you guys can judge for yourselves after the season's over, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the most exciting season because it's the most recent and it's the most memorable for me. But anyways, before we get on to the series, I want to give a thank you to Hacker yes I Am once again for providing me with this gameplay. This gameplay is phenomenal. It's a striker assault moab. He does pick up some other guns when he does run out of ammo. And it's really impressive because he's using the striker. He gets an assault moab on the map dome. And this is in Team Tactical 4v4 and he calls in all of his kill streaks before he gets his moab, which is just amazing. And yeah, thought this was a really good gameplay and hopefully you guys do enjoy it in the background. So let's talk about this girl for today's season. In this part, I'm actually only going to be talking about 9th grade. And for most of the high school episodes, I'm going to be talking about one grade at a time. And the reason for that is because there's more things to talk about, the girls are more memorable, and you know, I want to stretch this series a little bit longer for you guys because I don't want to like rush things and I want to give you guys the best story that I can so hopefully you guys sit tight so this first girl that I'm gonna be talking about is actually a girl that I met when I was in marching band in ninth grade I started off in high school and I joined the marching band because I was in band all three years in middle school and I thought that band was very interesting and I decided to join marching band and one of the things that we had in marching band was field shows in ninth grade we did field shows and field shows are you know like during like football games and whatnot you have like the entire band come out and they play music while moving around and that's basically what a field show is and to prepare for field shows and stuff we had practices we had a lot of practices and during some of those practices i became friends with a lot of girls in color guard color guard is basically the girls who like throw flags in the air and catch them or like rifles and batons and whatnot and yeah, I mean, the girl that I ended up liking was actually a girl from Color Guard. But I didn't really know her that well yet. The, re the person that I liked at the beginning of ninth grade was actually the girl that I'm about to talk about's friend. And I liked her for a short while and it was pretty funny, but that's how I ended up meeting the girl that I'm about to talk about. And I don't want to reveal any names, like I said, because of privacy issues, so I'll talk about girl one as my friend that I already knew and girl two is the girl that I'm about to be talking about so girl one and girl two <laughs> where do I begin so girl one is actually a girl that was living in my neighborhood I didn't really know that at the time but I ended up liking her for like a short amount of time because in the beginning of band season I guess you could call it I ended up liking her and we had this one field show that we went to and I was you know I was playing truth and dare with my friends I don't know why but we were waiting to perform and you know while we were waiting we were bored so we just decided to start playing some truth and dare and one of my friends suggested to me hey go say um tell girl two that you like her because I was friends with her at the time but then at that time I wasn't really aware that I liked her yet but I might have already if you know what that means is like you might have a feeling that you like someone but you're not entirely sure of it yet but I think that's what I was having and but back then I didn't really know girl 2 that well I knew girl 1 better so I said how about I say that to girl 1 instead and they said okay sure and then I ended up telling girl 1 that I liked her even though I'm not sure but then I ended up telling girl 1 that I liked her and you know, because cause we're stupid. Freshman in high school, man, I, I was just retarded. I did things just because of there, and yeah, I, I did it, and I she eventually found out that it was a dare, and then she asked me if I was telling her the truth or not, and then I told her that I did like her, and I think that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that, but yeah, I quickly moved on from her after that, and I ended up liking Girl 2, because during band season, 
like during band practices and stuff whenever we had a break I would go talk to her I don't know why but she was this girl who was really nice she's nice to listen to and you know she's a good listener and we became really good friends and I, I eventually ended up liking her and and then during Valentine's Day which I remember planning out so meticulously. I wrote a poem for her. I bought a teddy bear. I bought flowers and I bought balloons. I'm just, I don't know. I think that's a little bit overbearing and it probably was, but I was a silly freshman, clouded with eyes of love. Oh God, that sounds cheesy. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I did. And I remember the day it was, Valentine's day was on Saturday, which sucks because then I had to ask her on Friday pretty much and you know the day before Valentine's Day is obviously gonna be Friday the 13th and just my luck that day it started raining it started raining like really really hard which really really sucks but then I got to school early and I gave her the stuff and you know what the way that she was replied to me was kind of like iffy at first like I pretty much thought she rejected me because like you know she put she left the flowers in the band room and she took the other stuff with her I guess no no, no. she she left the flowers the balloons in the band room and she took the, the teddy bear I guess and anyway um moving on so the entire day I felt like I was like pretty much rejected already and I think that I probably should have been but after school, I was going to my locker to get my stuff and then I was going to head on home because it was raining pretty hard already. But then I saw her waiting for me at my locker with... Uh, excuse me, Coke. Uh, yeah, I saw her, both girl 1 and girl 2 waiting for me at my locker and I was like, whoa, what, what, what's going on, right? And the girl 2 was the one that I gave the stuff to for Valentine's Day and she gave me two notes and she told me to read the first one completely, don't say anything, and then read the second one after that. And the first one pretty much said, sorry, I can't be with you, right? But in the second letter, she wrote, if you want, we can try this out, but we are keeping this relationship secret for right now because her friends think that she rejected me. And I thought that was kind of weird, but we ended up, you know, getting together and I said okay with that I mean normally now that I think about it I probably would not accept those conditions but in ninth grade I was foolish I accepted those conditions and I eventually went like went out with her but the thing was we didn't really do much of anything I mean I'm pretty sure that I liked her a lot more than she ever liked me I mean I did all this silly cheesy stuff that I did cuz I was a silly freshman and you know I like drew out things like Happy one week anniversary, man. That is just cheesy as fuck one week anniversary. What the fuck is that? And I wrote poems for her all the time and stuff and that's pretty much what we did. We walked I walked her to her locker. She walked with me to my locker and then that's pretty much we didn't really do that much We still hung out with our own separate friends at lunch and stuff. We didn't really spend that much time together It's just after school was over She would be waiting by my locker after I was done I would walk her to her locker and then we would walk out the gates together And then we would go our separate ways and that's pretty much all we did for the next two and a half months That we were together and after that She eventually ended up breaking up with me, which was really sad and then she didn't even tell me up front She gave me another note because that was like her primary means of communicating with me or some of some form or another and on that note it said that we should break up and she wanted me to like even delete the pictures that I have of her and me on my phone and stuff like that and I was just I, I don't know I was a freshman in love and I was heartbroken and that kind of sucks and I don't know it came kind of suddenly to me because I wasn't ex exactly expecting it and then when I read that note it felt like a gripping pain was in my heart and yeah that was another cheesy line but cheesy is what I am so yeah well that that pretty much wraps up my ninth grade I mean she's still a memorable girl and she is probably yeah she's the only girl that I've ever been in a relationship with thus far and you know, two and a half months, kind of iffy. We didn't really do anything that much, so I don't know if you can even call it a relationship, but 
it's the only semi-official relationship that I was in. So thank you guys for watching. This is Boss Siam. Here to give you guys a kind of disappointing story on my part. But yeah, that's my first episode of my memorable girl season for high school. And hopefully you guys did enjoy. So thank you guys for watching. This is Boss Siam. I'm out. Peace.